Hello and welcome to Matter Hacks, a video series brought to you by Actionable Insights. In today's video, we're going to be talking about importing and exporting data through the Matterport Capture app. You no longer need to have the same iPad on site. That's right. But before we jump into today's video, let's go ahead and say thanks to this week's sponsor. This week's video is brought to you by Cleaning and Restoration Magazine. CNR Magazine is a legacy publication independently serving and partnering with the restoration and cleaning industry. Today, CNR features a bi-monthly print magazine, as well as a robust online presence, including web-exclusive articles, videos, podcasts, industry news updates, and more. Subscribe for free at cnrmagazine.com. All right, so today I want to talk about importing and exporting data from one capture device to another capture device. In this case, I have my iPad that has a scan currently on it, and then we're going to be transferring that over to my iPhone. Perfect, so let's jump in here. You can see I have a number of scans. Uh, what I want to do is go ahead and look at this Marting Scan Premit. Go ahead, click that ellipses on the right, and we can go ahead and select Export. Now this is going to take a few moments. I'm not going to uh, uh, take too much of your guys' time here, but you can see it is archiving the job, and we're actually going to have the ability to export this uh, to a variety of sources, whether it's the local files or Google Drive. And boom! With the magic of editing, we have uploaded that to our Google Drive account. Now, I'm jumping over to my iPhone here, where I have access to that same Google Drive account, and we're going to go ahead and now import that scan. In the top right, you're going to see those ellipses again, and we're going to click Import Job. Now, you have two options. You can import from a .zip archive or import from a folder. In this case, let's go ahead and do the .zip archive. It's bringing up my Google Drive with all my recent files. In this case, I want the Marting Scan Premit that we just went ahead and uploaded from my iPad. After selecting that, it's going to automatically start unzipping and checking the .zip contents. This is going to take a few minutes, so let's go ahead and jump back in after it's uploaded. Sweet, and just like that, a few seconds later, we have the scan available in my iPhone. That's right, we just took data from the iPad, transferred it to the cloud, and sent it back into a different capture device. What this means is you no longer need the same capture device on site with you. So let's say you have a tech with one iPad and a second tech with an iPhone or another iPad. Uh, you no longer need the same device on site. This opens up a lot of availability for what you can do uh, with scheduling and different capture devices. All right, let's go ahead and jump directly in to the scan and see exactly what it captured. I'm going to go ahead and click Marting Scan dot dot dot. At the top, you'll see a notification. We're checking and updating each scan. Please keep the app open in the foreground until this is complete. This is critical, guys. You need to make sure that the app is open sitting here just like this. Sweet, and just a few more seconds later, we now have that scan completely uploaded into our Capture app. You can see all the scan waypoints, including the trims, the mirrors, uh, different 360 photos all around as well. Uh, we have everything here. All the data has been uploaded into this scan. Hope you guys enjoyed this Matter Hacks video. If you did, wherever you're watching, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, follow us for more, or leave a comment in the comment section below. You can also check us out at getinsights.org, and I will catch you guys in the next video.